Hi everybody, my name is Seth Kweku Bani and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this speed train effect. So go with me into Photoshop. So I just want you to go to where your image is and then drag it in there into Photoshop and then just release it. Now this is the image that we have. I want you to duplicate the image and I want you to pick your lasso tool and then just click around the image keep going like that and then when you are done i want you to right click it and then click on fill and then content away over here normal 100 percent and then click on ok great now ctrl d to deselect it i want you to click on this one and i want you to zoom in hide the topmost one and then bring it somewhere here let's start from here pick your pen tool and then make sure here is selected to path and then i want you to start just zoom in so you can have a good selection of it i want you to just select it you can use your scroll to just scroll up and then just drag it like that keep selecting it keep selecting it the most boring part of um, Photoshop or graphic design is, in, is a selection that's to me I really find it boring it can take a whole lot of time you know but then it's very necessary for one to get an accurate result and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to speed you know this up so that we can get to the real meat of the design select here select here select here we are done with it click on selection set the feather radius to zero click on ok all right guys so now that we have it selected i want you to control zero for it to you know First, you zoom out and then I want you to control J and then let's move it up like that so we can see it like that. This is it. Great. Now I want us to hide this one. Click on this one and then make sure also the topmost one is also hidden. Now with this one selected, I want you to right click it and then convert it to smart object then zoom out around this is good i want you to go to filter go to blur gallery and then go to path blur now i want you to set the i want you to come here to the path over here okay and take this one off right i want you to click over here and then drag it to this side and then drag this one to this side great double click it go here make sure you take it off again click over here and then so you see i'm keeping it in perspective i just keep it in perspective all right so like that click it again then click over here like that click it again click over here then click it again so click over here as well and then click it again and then click over here you know, something like this and then click it again all right so now that we have it like this i want you to set the speed to 50 and then set the tapper or the taper to zero and then this time i want you to click on the edit blur 
shapes and then push click over here push it along it like that and then click on the topmost one as well push it way like that now click over here again click on this one pull it up a little bit just a little bit all right click over here as well and then pull it like that now click over here this particular one pull it don't pull it too much release it and then this one as well click it and pull it i click over here pull it slightly and then click over here and then pull it sweet click over here pull it slightly let go a little bit click over here pull it up the more great click over here pull it slightly I think you go a little bit more click over here pull it up a little bit sweet and then um, I think this is okay uh, but I feel like the greens are out of it so let's go to noise okay um, let's go to noise here and then let's set the amount over here to 30 and then here 25 50 0 and then 100 percent and then let's click on okay great so this is what we are going to have just bring this one and then it's going to be in there like that so interesting right and then we just need to blend this one with it so click over here and then give it a mask click on your brush go here and then select a soft round brush set the hardness to zero and the opacity to 100 let's close this one increase the size a little bit and just click over here make sure here is color black here is color black and then just click over here now go again and set it to 50% that's the opacity and click over here click over here sweet all right now i want us to give it a curve click here and then just drag this side down just drag this side down and that is it guys this is how you create this particular effect if you love this video please hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel as well so that any video that i upload you will not miss out on any of them i love you all guys see you in the next tutorial peace